two hours. That's all it took for them little guys to turn a very beautiful, clean pool into that mess. That's why that's probably the hardest part of doing the chores is keeping fresh water to them guys. I know down there they're about probably the same, but it is another very beautiful morning here on the Farm Ducks Farm. Yesterday was not so beautiful. Rainy, dreary. It's been like that for the past couple days. Two hours. Mud. But due to the weather, I haven't had a chance to get a lot done, which that's kind of fine right now as I ran out of fence posts. I wanted to extend the fence some more. They already kind of got most of the grass eaten down, which due to all the sand and junk, they didn't have much grass to begin with, but I was thinking of extending it this way towards the woods. There goes a little chipmunk. What are you doing, little buddy? Oh, there he goes. But yeah, if I extend the fence out this way, that'll give them a lot more grass to go around. Plus, then I can completely enclose in the house to keep raccoons away, you know, with the electric fence and all. But I'm out of fence post. My nearby tractor supply does not have any more. Don't know when they will be getting more. But another thing, three raccoons caught three nights in a row have not caught anything. So, I think we got that problem just about solved. Now, I will keep the trap out and probably change up the bait a little bit. Maybe they're getting tired of the egg. But I will say, egg, peanut butter, raccoons love it. I'm probably going to start cutting down my buckwheat and feeding that to them guys. That's kind of the reason why I grew it. Although I might leave it go a little bit more. Their pretty white flowers are finally starting to create the little bulbs on them. That would become the buckwheat husk. But next year, I definitely need to grow a lot more of this. It's actually really pretty to look at. It grows anywhere. It don't necessarily need a whole lot of sun. It's right directly underneath the tree. It gets the morning sun, hence why they all lean a little to the left that way. It's great for soil improvement if you mow it down right now it'll all kind of help create topsoil of course if you let it grow to seed feed that to chickens and ducks and whatnot like them guys they're all preening themselves look at them what it amazes me is how hey i'm talking here is how quickly the ducks are growing a week ago they were all peeping now all the females are quacking show you that i'll have to stir them up a little bit and they're starting to get noisy too like loud quacks. So I come out this morning, let them out, and quack, 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 quack. They wanted out. Of course, little Sunny in the middle is starting to get her feathers in. She's pretty. Like you guys. You just got a little bit more baby feathers on the back of your head. Yeah. But today, I do plan on doing something with, with these ducks. I don't like how skittish they are. I mean, I really can't get too close to them. They get scared very easily. So I think I'm going to give them some treats, try to win them over. But that's going to be a later on project when it's a little hotter out. I'm going to try to get other chores like the garden and stuff done. And plus I'm making a hose reel for my garden hose since. But this is what, like one of the messes I've been fighting really hard with is garden hose mess messes. Especially now I got a hundred foot to stretch down to there. I'd actually like to get some more hose so I can re pretty much take it wherever I want in the yard. But from work, I got a big wooden spool that uh, had real big thick electric cable on it. Uh, so yesterday, I, or not yesterday, but Friday, I brought it home. Gave her a good paint job, but I ran out of paint. It needs a second coat. Hey, right. get out of here. This is not your house. Come on, George. Musky ducks. I'm going to get my welder out today and build myself a little stand for it. I don't know if I'm going to put wheels on it or not, but because this is kind of excessively large for what I need. Considering that'll allow me to have 500 foot of garden hose, that'll be pretty awesome. I may even put like a divider on it right here and have two separate spools, I don't know. But it's already got like a crack here, so what I'll do is I'll run the beginning of the hose into this hole, come up there, and then wrap it around. Just the only thing is when you spool it up, I might even put like a handle on it too. I don't know if it really needs one as large as it is. I think it'd be alright without a handle, but I ran out of paint. My, my biggest thing is I want to paint it because it's going to be sitting outside, wood, being outside, unpainted, brought. As soon as Tractor Supply gets some more barn red in, I also got a lot more other painting to do because this used to be red. I might even paint it white because it's starting to rot. Same thing with the back porch. That's also why the back fence is kind of falling apart, especially down there. They didn't keep up with the paint, but I ain't too worried about it. As long as the fence posts are good on that, I'm fine. That's all going to get replaced at least probably from where it starts, uh, probably from where that one had already fallen off. All the way down, I'm gonna put hardware cloth up for eventually the pen that's gonna be in here. In fact, I may even talk to my neighbors about tearing that down and putting like bushes in there or something. It's just gonna fall apart. One more thing to upkeep. I'd rather have like a row of blueberry bushes in here or something. Although that'd be a lot of blueberry bushes I can fit in here. Either way, of course we got the nice tree. I might even add another fruit tree in the middle somewhere. But I also gotta ask him if I can cut that tree down there. 
or not cut it down, but trim it, because if it's going to be right over the fence, actually I might cut it down, because if it's going to be right over the fence, this is going to be an access point for potential predators to my birds. Like a raccoon can climb up that tree, hop over the fence, take one, and go. Although it might struggle to get back out, but either way. I don't like the idea of cutting down trees unless I absolutely have to. Same thing with them ones back there, along the property line. Unfortunately, I do not have contact to the neighbor that owns this, these woods here, and I don't want to just go in there and start trimming, because my property line is basically this stone uh, stone row here. I mean, it goes all the way up to the road. Some places it's a little built up, but like back here, what the my neighbor back here, which is the one that's over there, I think my property goes over about two foot off the fence. Wow, I'm glad I came back here. Some of these posts don't look too healthy. It's probably because roots from this tree, but that's all something that can all get taken care of later. Plus, I mean, I don't know what kind of tree this is. I might get my chainsaw out, make like a little jig. Uh, what do they call them? Alaskan chainsaw mills or whatever. You just run chainsaw on it. That's kind of hard to explain, but even if I can get a couple rough cut boards off of it to use for other projects, I could probably get a good eight foot chunk out of there and another eight foot chunk. I, I know, this is farming channel, not woodworking channel. Wow, homesteading. I'd rather be more of a homesteading channel than farming, especially right now since all I got is basically the birds in the garden. There ain't a whole lot going on, so. I also might be getting a few more chickens. I really don't want any more chickens, but they're free, so can't beat free. I got them. The problem is, I don't know if the pen's too small or if it's hens being hens. If anybody has chickens, though, if, if you got too many hens and no roosters, like in our situation, no roosters whatsoever, they get very hormonal against each other, fighting, carrying on, and I don't want that. So they, they need a man to keep them under control. But my neighbor up the road, he has two roosters, and they fight a lot. Uh, I know the one's a barred rock. I think that's the one he said about giving me. He's got curled toes. I don't know what really is the cause of that, if I can fix that or not. But he might be too old now. Like my neighbor said, he's, he's a fairly old rooster. His other rooster gets to fighting him so bad, and that barred rock, that he's willing to give me he's a real general rooster so might be a good mix for them little hens over there but i also have a fellow i work with he's unfortunately going through a divorce and one of his things is he's he's getting rid of his chickens he's got 14 of them i believe and he asked me if i wanted any of them i don't know if i do i kind of can't give up free chickens but that's free chickens and they're already laying eggs they are a little bit older so they're not in their prime but then i think one rooster is going to kind of stretch the capacity of the little chicken tractor. So I might have to build another one, which I don't want to do, or mix a few in with them, which might work out because eventually I do want to breed chickens as well as ducks and geese. But I want to breed purebred Orpingtons because that's what these guys are. So I need to find an Orpington rooster. So what I might do, put these back in with them and then the older hens that I'm getting, put them in here since they already lay. But I don't know. It's kind of, They're going to be in limbo until I get the big pen build in because I might even build a second house I'll have like the duck house and I might build a smaller chicken house that way they could all be intermix and I don't know if that's ideal because chickens and ducks need very different requirements but I also could put the chicken run up there or over there just to have a separate one but that's thinking way in the future I didn't even really want any more chickens I want to focus on ducks and geese but also if I do a separate chicken run I, that'll open me up for broilers meaning meat chickens I think I'd be a better seller to get started around here to get my name you know established that way I, hey go see Colby at the Roman Ducks farm he's got a bunch of meat chickens and then while they're here I can say hey if you're interested I can also throw in a duck with you little to no cost or goose there's a stick here it's a good thing I didn't hit that with my mower yeah, I'll come back later on, feed the ducks with some peas. I got a, so here I am a day later, but I have a box. And in this box, we got our newest addition. Neighbor just knocked on my door with a box in his hand, and there he is, our new rooster. Oh, he might jump out. Uh-oh. Well, I didn't expect him to jump out so quickly. This is a problem. At least they can get to talking. He's scared. It's alright. We have to figure out a name for him. Buddy, you're okay. <laughs> Come on. Well, we got him in here, and we got chaos. Thankfully, they're not being aggressive, and neither is he. I think he's just confused. These guys are terrified. He's just confused. He's wandering around like, where am I? What is happening? Why are they so scared of me? We're going to have to figure out a name for him. But neighbor said he's a 
very gentle rooster, which would be good for these guys. And me. They're starting to calm down. I think they like to hear me talk. This is a good sign. They're not fighting. They're just kind of scared of each other at the moment. I believe he's a barred rock. He looks like one, that's for sure. But I'm going to let them alone. Since it doesn't seem like they're fighting, they're just going to need some time together to get used to each other. They're not happy at all. 